All right, welcome back in. It is time for the coaches segment here on the High School Hockey Podcast. My name is Sean Belegian. Kindly joining us. Not only is he in his sixth year as the head coach at Novi, but on the board, the coaching association board in the state of Michigan. Let's welcome him in. He is Coach Mark Vellucci. Mark, always a pleasure to see you, my friend. How are you, bud? Thank you, Sean, for having me. You know, a few weeks ago, I, I want to start with this about your team. A few weeks ago, I'm online and I see on Twitter you posted a great tweet uh, about – before the Christmas break, you, you kind of talked to your team. You were in one of those moments where the season could go this direction, that direction. And he said, hey, listen, guys, we got a little break. Ask yourselves, are you in or are you out? And the way your team has responded since the Christmas break kind of tells you what the answer was. Can you share, everybody, the background on that story? Sure, yeah. You know, we were struggling the first half of the year trying to find our identity and I think it was either around the Heartland game where we got mercyed by them, and I, th- I think I came in the room afterwards and just pretty much said that. I said, look it, guys, you're either in or you're out. And ever since, it's been uh, the guys have been in. I mean, every single one of them has been in, and they're they're actually buying into the, the program and the concept. And quite honestly, it was a, it was a change in how we uh, coach as a team too. And uh, just everything has been a real attitude and really a culture change. Love to see that too. When, when a young team and you guys still are young, make no mistake about it. When a young team responds, had a chance to see you against Northville. I, I thought you were outstanding defensively this past weekend. You knocked off Brighton. Uh, you fell to a pretty good uh, team from Ike. Of course, Bob Hall, also a, a member of the, the coaches association, but tell us about what has jumped out to you about your play. As I said, just to reiterate, I thought you played so well defensively against Northville. Is that where it's starting for you guys? For sure. We, uh, as soon as we, uh, made the decision to change our uh, thought processes. We've worked on defensive zone coverage and against Northville, I I thought it was probably the best defensively we've ever played, not only as a team this year, but as a program. And it's it's just a credit to the players and to the coaches buying into what we're preaching and and coaching them. And yeah, the Northville game was awesome. Uh, Obviously it's a robbery game and we haven't had much success in, in the, in the years we played them. And, it was a total dominant performance led by our goalie, Ethan Hunsinger. And then uh, defensively on out, just it was it was a great effort that night. Mark Felucci, of course, the head coach at Novi, kindly joining us. For people out there that don't know, the dynamic at Novi Ice Arena is, is very unique because you share it with, of course, the Northville Mustangs. And as far as I'm concerned, Mark, it's a great spot to have some playoff action as well. You guys have been able to host in years gone by, hosting again this year. But talk about that dynamic. I mean, you've got two rivals, two cities right next to each other, basically sharing the same same facility. That's got to be fun. It is, and we're, our locker rooms are right across from one another. And what's nice about the rivalry it's it's a it's a lot of it's a healthy, respectful rivalry. You know, we we want to win. Uh, our games against them, but we play them twice a year. And, you know, Clint Robert was there the last few years, and I have good friendship. And, and now Gordy Brown and I ha- also have it. And it's just a nice, nice, healthy rivalry. You still want to win games that, that, you know, in years past, maybe before I was there, it got a little chippy and a little, uh, well, uh, too excited, uh, too excited for a, a game. But now it's just you know, guys uh, grew up playing with one another. You know, the same rank, and now they're um, against one another. So it, it's 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 nice, and uh, it's what it, quite honestly what a rivalry should be. One of the best atmospheres for a game. Really, it's a, it's a it's a fun game. That's one that maybe you should put a circle on and see if you can get a chance to get at the Novi Ice Arena to see Northville and Novi get together. Uh, so many things to talk to you uh, before we ask you to take your coach's hat off momentarily uh the public showcase is coming up you guys have been such a big part of that I know you've been a big part of that uh the last couple coaching uh jobs that you've had but talk a little bit about what going out to the public showcase means to you it's uh, it's it's a great atmosphere uh every year it's gotten better and better there's more scouts have been out there um this year we've kind of cut it down to uh Thursday through uh, Sunday Quite honestly, it was just a long week for all the workers and all the volunteers. Don Wright, our executive director, does a great job along with his daughter, uh, Jennifer Vetter. And it's just a great time out there. It's, it's really good quality games. We, we try to get the better public schools to show up, and, and we try to match up uh, uh, schedule-wise with 
play, uh, teams how they're doing at that time. Ryan Ossemacher from Salem does a really good job. He helps out with the scheduling. And, you know, this year we got uh, Lakeland on our schedule along with Rockford, two teams that haven't really played uh, much. I never played Rockford, but Lakeland played when I was at Farmington in the OAA. But, uh, you know, looking forward to a good weekend, good games, and hopefully the weather co cooperates. Uh, last year it was a little tough with the, the storm and uh, some games canceled, but uh, hopefully now with the weather turning cold this week, uh, next week, and it should be good, hopefully, to play games. It's a great spot, too, in Chelsea. I mean, it's literally right off of 94, so it's one of those easy spots to get to. I know I've been out there a couple times. State Champs has been out there as well, and we're going to try to get out there uh, this weekend as well. You know, Coach, as I mentioned, you're part of the, the Coaches Association. You're on the board, and I, I know it's cliche, but it has to be said anyway. It just seems like every year you guys get better and better, and the goals that you accomplish – you, you are the goals that you set, you are accomplishing, and everybody's rowing in the same direction. Talk about how that process has been for you guys because you guys are really doing some work. We are talking off the air, some things that we're not going to share on the air, but really things are moving in the right direction. For sure. You know, we've added uh, Coach Mitchell uh, from Stevenson this year. He's been a huge part of uh, the board. And quite honestly, everyone on the board, and we've added some uh, – some uh, four area reps from the UP, the West Side, and, and the metro area in the mid uh, mid section of the state, and we're on. A, we meet every other week and online, and it's just been a great, great, um, really good time, and great for the the state of uh, Michigan hockey. And everyone's contributing. Everyone contributes. Everyone has a role. Everyone does something to help out. I, you know, it's kind of fascinating when you think about it that that you guys are like literally sitting there with computer screens in front of you like this, having the conversation where you know one guy's in the UP, you know, you might have Givens up in Traverse City, whatever the case may be, but you're having your conversation via Skype. Is that the basically the way that it works? It's 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 called Zoom, okay. um, but it's very similar. We're all at our, our desks at our home, and uh, usually a Monday night, uh, eight o'clock, eight thirty, and we're on for an hour and a half, and we just we get things done. We're getting things done, and. Quite honestly, another big uh, important note is we're working really close with Cody Anglis from the state, uh, and we're doing things through him. And, you know, I, I got uh, chewed out a little last year about saying change is coming, but changes are actually coming. So if we want to call it change part two, uh, change is coming part two, we can call it that. But whether next year or the year after, um, I think good things are going to happen for the state of Michigan high school hockey. You know, that's the thing that I'm glad that you brought that up. And we've had Cody on the show before. Shout out to Cody, uh, to be sure. That's the thing. At the end of the day, when you peel all the layers away, everybody wants the same thing for this product. And, and, and you know, you might come at it from a different way than this coach will come at it or, or this administrator comes at it. But at the end of the day, everybody wants the same thing. And, and I think you're seeing more cohesiveness. And again, that, that row in the same direction and you have guys you mentioned Ryan Ossenmacher you know he, he's not he's not on the board or anything but guys are pitching in and and, and it really is a camaraderie type of situation it is and I, I think the the last whatever 10 years we kind of got away from that a little bit uh, um, and I think it's slowly starting to turn around and, and coaches and, and programs are not just worried about their own programs they're worrying about the state of uh, the game and you know, led by you guys uh, with your support we get from you guys. It's it's just been awesome, and it's been a, it's been a fun part to be a part of. Well, it's going to be uh, certainly a sprint down the stretch. There's a lot of big hockey to be played before the playoffs start. Novi actually hosting one of the regionals. But uh, before we get to that, a lot of hockey to be played, including the public showcase out in Chelsea. So if you have an opportunity, get out to Chelsea. Get out to Novi Ice Arena to see his team in action as well. And Mark Felucci, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for everything you do. Seriously, I know you guys put in so much hard work, and we certainly appreciate it here. Same to you guys. Thanks, Sean.